It's Elle here from Beyond Expectations. Now in this video, I'm going to tell you four reasons why calories in versus calories out is a complete lie. I'm also going to share with you something really exciting and special at the end, so do stick around for that. But let's jump right into it. So number one, age. Calories in versus calories out does not consider your age. It also doesn't consider the fact that from the ages of 20 to 50, you're most likely put to put on 30 pounds. That is what the statistics show. What worked for you in your 20s isn't gonna work now. Number two, hormones. It doesn't consider the fact if you're a male or female. Men produce large, large amount of testosterone, so therefore, more often than not, they can get away with things that women can't, particularly with food and also with recovery and rest. Menopause. If you are going through menopause or you're above the age of 40, you are going to be in pre-menopause. Or I am, because I got my period very young, so I am pre-menopausal. What worked for you in your 20s isn't going to work now, which I've said before, but it's important to understand that calories in versus calories out is not going to consider your current state of your hormones. So that's point number two. Number three, the most critical thing that I think is underrated is you cannot accurately measure your caloric output. There is no way to measure that. Some would argue that I'm probably more busy. Actually, my clients would definitely argue that I'm more busy now with teenage daughters than I was with young ones because I'm just doing so much more. You know, we're doing horse riding, we're doing circus training, uh, we're going to theme parks, we're going to movies, we're constantly going out. After this, we'll be catching up with friends. I'm doing so much more activity-wise. When they were little, I just didn't do those types of things because they simply couldn't keep up. But now, I'm doing infinitely more than I was before. Also, I am a caregiver to John. I also have to look after the house. I also run my own business. If you fit into any of these brackets and you too have your own business, you work a full-time job, you have some children, you care for relatives, you have community commitments, you have uh, you know, to keep a house, you've got to keep it clean, you've got to do your washing, all those things. That is a lot of responsibility. That is a lot of caloric output. So that is impossible to measure. When you start to have too much of a caloric outtake and you're not consuming enough calories, what happens then is your body starts to break down your muscle for fuel. And that's called catabolizing your muscle. So rather than uh, your metabolism going up, it will actually go down because the less muscle you have on your body, uh, the lower your metabolism will be. So that's critical to understand. It's impossible to accurately measure caloric deficit so how much you're physically doing and how many calories you're burning because exercise isn't just in the gym it's everything it's your whole life it's all the movement that you do everything that's involved and there is no way that the calories in versus the calories out method can accurately track that it's almost impossible even if you had some sort of smartphone or a device or some sort of tracker it would be virtually impossible to be able to physically track everything that you're doing Point four, calories in versus calories out doesn't equate for the nutrients, the vitamins, the minerals that are in the food. We have infinitely more people in the world, close to 8 billion people, and when food is mass produced and a lot of preservatives and artificial ingredients are used, it strips away all the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients. This is often found in prepackaged food, so you always want to try to stick to nature as best as you can. That is why the calories in versus calories out method doesn't work because you're not considering the vitamins, the minerals, the nutrients, and the quality of the food. Now I wanted to share with you something extremely special. I believe so much in my method that I'm actually willing to do something crazy that I've never done before. I'm going to be offering a money back guarantee with my program. Now with my coaching program, I generally do it for 30 days and it's, a 30-day program. I've actually condensed it to 12 days where you'll measure at the beginning and you measure at the end and if you don't lose any weight I'm prepared to give you a full refund providing that you follow along with all the steps that I give you. I will be there with you to support you along the way. I'll also be making your diet custom. So your diet will be a custom-made diet designed for your weight, your body fat, and your muscle mass, and how you carry the weight on your body. If at the end of the 12 days, 
but you don't see any progress and you followed all my steps and you haven't lost any weight, I'd be more than happy to refund your money because I know that my program works. I know that I can reshape and transform your body. And I believe it so much that I wanted to give you a risk-free try so that you can see for yourself that what I do works. Uh, this is for new customers only. If that's something you'd be interested in, do click the link down below. Where please give this video a big thumbs up and please subscribe, turn on the bell notifications and head on over to elite.com to grab yourself a free copy of Elite's 7 Rules from Beyond Expectations. Thanks. Bye.